the other thing I want to say is that um, I'm totally blown away with this, and the reason I'm totally blown away with this is, and something I've been advocating for a long time, is that for the last God knows how many decades, museums have been struggling with what with the, what they call is the most difficult audience, you all. Right. <laughs> I think also that people unanimously would agree that the interaction that we would have with you would be as colleagues. We don't we don't consider anything else less. We incredibly value your opinion, your insights, your intelligence about this. Now, the other thing I think of is missing piece and one big bugaboo, if you will, about that I have with these sessions is continuity. That this conversation, these kind of insights, invaluable insights that you've offered for this, not just for them, but museums around the world, ends sort of just in these serendipitous conversations people have about it, maybe some tweets, where does that go? Not very far. So I submit to make this into a powerful vehicle for change, if you will. There's gotta be some structure for continuity, Barry. Barry? Right. So where is this? Does this then become a team panel for uh, evaluation, evaluation team panel with an online vehicle that maybe American Museum of Natural History does, or Maine does, so that people can then on a continuing basis submit this, right? Because then, if that's the case, then this stuff could be shared with AAM, American Alliance for Museums, with Excite in Europe, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Then you have a powerful voice for change. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks.